Hi, welcome to this video today. Uh, we are on Wednesday, it's the 2nd of February. In this video, we're going to look at two euro pairs. We're going to look at the euro against the USD and also the euro against the JPY. Now, in terms of the euro, there's a high impact news event coming up tomorrow, which is the ECB. Now, after falling for a few weeks, um, the euro has mounted a rally on both the uh, sorry USD and the JPY this week. Will that rally be sustained or will we see another turn to the downside? My own view is uh, the euro's got limited upside from here and we should turn to the downside. And that's based upon the logic that um, the ECB will not be as hawkish as the market expects tomorrow in our view. Now I want to go through my logic of why and the key levels of support and resistance to look out for. So let's go and take a look at the pairs. But just before uh, we go to the charts, uh, just um, when you're looking at my analysis, always do please keep in mind, it's my view as of this specific moment in time, it can change in line with the market action. If you want to learn our strategy, learn all our trading techniques and check out our daily technical sentiment analysis of 14 FX pairs, including uh, both Euro USD and Euro JPY. Just click on the link beneath this video and you can get live access to our member center. You can also join our Facebook group of traders if you wish and follow our Facebook page. Right, let's go over and take a look at the opportunities. Let's try a look at the charts. I just want to look at uh, the inflation data that came out of Eurozone today. It's in my notes uh, here. Uh, in the Eurozone, it picked up to 5.1% in January for 5% in December, that was above forecasts from economists who were looking for 4.4%. So the market is thinking with inflation moving up, uh, the ECB must do what the Fed did, say it's not temporary, and say interest rate hikes are on the way. Uh, my own view is um, I do not think that will happen, okay? And the reason I don't think it will happen is to do this chart, which I showed in the weekly uh, a video forecast is of the ECB balance sheet. I've just loaded a new chart in uh, this evening in my PM update. Now you can just see they're printing money at a strong rate. Now if you're printing money at the rate they are, um, it doesn't look like they're near to hiking rates. They need to give liquidity to the poor nations of the zone, such as Italy, where they're buying most of Italian debt. Okay. So it's going to be very hard for them to tighten financial conditions. Um, Christine Lagarde, the EC president, um, was you know, very much saying you know, that she wasn't in the mood to re, uh, remove accommodation. Okay, There are hawks in the ECB, but I think Dove Lagarde will prevail. Now, in terms of we look at speculative positioning, we can look at this chart here, which is COT Net Traders Positions. It's from COT Base. Uh, commercials, smart money hedgers, and then you've got large speculators. We can see the euro comes down and the speculators have come in to buy and the commercials, the hedgers have gone short. This data is from last week, um, last Tuesday, and of course the euro has gone up since then. So I'd expect the speculators to jumped up to an even bigger position than the commercials to have gone against them. Now we will go to the chart of Euro USD. On the chart of Euro USD, what we want to do is sell a break lower, or if we move higher, we're going to look for the rally to fail. Now, in terms of speculators, I think buying has come in before the ECB, certainly on that inflation data. And we see the Euro has moved up a bit. Now, in the weekly forecast I did, just for anyone new watching, we took a short at 1.1430. Uh, took out of trade on this candle on Friday, half our position, so 300 pips, and then got just under 200 pips. Good, but I stopped behind this big red. We get taken out, and now we're above the 113 level. Now, my own view is, yeah, this is not really a big candle. They were off the high. We'll sell through the 113 level, away from it. Round number's always important. Sell through 112.70, as you can see the top of the page, and we'll have a stop at 113.80, so behind this level of resistance here. If we pop above this first level resistance, I'll sell back through it with a stop behind 114. Now, in terms of the rally, obviously we view it as a sell. Longer term, we're looking for 110 
then 105. Now, in terms, we just look at the uh, monthly chart. These two bodies here, the blue and the red, uh, that's basically up at the 1 uh, 1378 level. Okay, so I think that'll be a hard double top on the bodies to take out. And if we travel lower, uh, I think we'll go to 110 and then down to big, big support at 105. Now, I think the market this week also powered back expectations of the Fed raising interest rates aggressively. We had some Fed speakers who said it was uh, dependent on the data, how quickly they raise rates. Well, that is nothing new. <laughs> they've, they've said that all along. So I think, um, yeah, Euro rally is to sell against the USD and also against the JPY. So let's go and take a look at that pair. And first of all, I want to do uh, speculative position. So I'm just going to look at uh, speculative positioning in the euro against the JPY. Now, in terms of when I showed you the chart of euro USD, uh, that data comes from the CFTC. It was on COT base. They only release data for the majors. They don't do the crosses. So if you want the crosses, you have to do it yourself. And you do that by looking at the two pairs that make up the cross, Euro USD and USD JPY. Uh, we just express it as a simple ratio on a spreadsheet. So these are speculators in this column here where my cursor is. They are 12.2 to 1 in terms of longs over shorts. They're heavily long. Commercials are short. They're 3.5 to 1 in terms of shorts over longs. And we then do a divergence between the two groups, which is 15.7, which is high in this pair. And anything normally above around 10 uh, will interest us. And this one's obviously well above 10. If you want to know more about the CFTC net traders and how to use them, just simply look up our video COT net traders indicators. So speculators heavily long the euro and short the yen. Going to the chart, um, pretty simple for us, this one. We did have a short trade in through the 131 level. Again, we took 50% out in the weekly forecast at the weekend. Second, we gave back profit as we went above 129. But we're not exactly running away from the 129 level. Now, from our perspective, what we want to do is we're above 129. We'll sell back through the round number, okay? You can see we're looking for a big move to the downside to 120 longer term. OK, now, what if we don't sell off? Well, this one, I'm just going to do an order to hit it just before the round number. You can see it, 129.80. If we rally to 129.80, I'm going to look for this 130 level for prices to top out. OK, and put the stop back behind 131, which is the next big round number. I haven't drawn my level in. But uh, yeah, that would be a big level to take out. Now, if we um, yeah, take a break lower, we're going to go at 130.40 with the stop. So just behind here. Uh, terms of, um, sorry, I'll go and look at the monthly chart. There's a double top on the bodies there, which is at 131 really. OK, so I think that's going to be tough to take out. Obviously, the month to start, you only got a small candle. But if we uh, break lower, obviously, uh, we'll be short. And uh, you got 125 as level support here. Uh, I think that will give way longer term. We'll go down to 120, which is a big, big level. OK, so in terms of the euro, specs have come in long, both uh, against the USD and against the JPY. Uh, we're looking for the ECB to disappoint. And I think market is just very, very bullish on Eurozone. But if you look at the GDP data that came out recently, it was pretty poor. OK, um, the ECB moving to raise interest rates. I just don't see how they can do it. Yeah, they've got to support those poor nations. But uh, we shall see. Anything can happen in Forex. But uh, yeah, see what happens uh, tomorrow, and then I'll obviously update uh, my views in the weekly forecast. But that's the video for now. Thanks for watching it. Take care. Have a good day.